Hi, my name is Rob. I'm one of the editors at Hopzine.com. I've just f finished a bottle of um, Captain Lawrence Imperial IPA, and I'm in my kitchen. It's Saturday afternoon, and I'm going to show you through my beer cupboard. So, just come over in. So then, we've got. Uh, I've managed to kind of stockpile a quite an impressive range of Imperial stouts. So um, there's quite a few of them. And that, what a better way to start? So I've got a bottle of uh, creme brulee stout from um, Southern Tier. Bought that from a shop in Cambridge. Um, a bottle of OK Yeti from Great Divide. Matt's had the regular Yeti, said it was great. Um, so that's going to be uh, wonderful. Two bottles down here of um, Black Damnation. That's the Black Damnation 3, the Black Mez, and the. Black and Damnation 4 Coffee Club from the Strausser Brewery in Belgium. And then a bottle of Mikola Big Eat Brunch, this uh, weasel obviously. And this is the uh, Bourbon edition, which was aged for three months in um, bourbon barrels. And then a bottle of um, Stone Bitter Chocolate Stout. I know we're going to review that one time at Hobzine. I'm sure Matt's going to love that one. Then down the back we've got a bottle of Lost Abbey Serpent Stout, and then finally, right at the back, a bottle of um, Brewdog Tokyo. Don't know when I'll get around to drinking that. I mean, at 18.2 percent, it's quite a big beer. So next up, we've got um, three bottles of Marble Decadence, the um, regular Decadence, the Framboise. And the Creek. Um, we're big fans of Marble on Hotzine. I've met Colin and Ma and Dominic from the Marble Brewery quite a few times now. Um, they're great lads. They're amazing beers. The Marble Arch is probably my favourite pub in the country. So if you're around that area, get down there. Got a bottle of um, De Molen Helen Damnation there. Down here. Uh, save that for later. A bottle of Dark Star Imperial Stout. Then a bottle of St. Petersburg by Thornbridge. Uh, then one of my kind of prized possessions, really, a bottle of The Abyss from Deschutes. This was brought back for me by uh, Rich at my brewery tap. Rich is a great lad, very generous, has got a great company, so get over to my bro tap and buy some amazing beer and then a bottle of Good King Henry's from Three Chimneys it was said to be the best beer of the year uh, from Britain on uh, rate beer so looking forward to that one uh, a bottle of Oladu 18 uh, and Oladu 40 I've never had Oladu I've had the old engine oil and that was great so I'm sure they're going to be wonderful um, a bottle of Rogue Excess Russian Imperial Stout. Uh, another bottle of De Molen. Y you can read it. I can't pronounce it. But that's maybe a really good port. A really kind of bitter, full of IBUs. Should be really interesting. Then we've got three bottles of beer from the Dodola Brewery in Belgium. The Dulatev Triple Bosquen. Excuse my pronunciation, that is their Easter beer and then the Arab beer, which is amazing. And, uh, so, and some more kind of Belgian beers and kind of Belgian inspired beers as well. Uh, so, a bottle of Pram Pot Reserva from Strausser. A bottle of that. I've had the four. I cannot pronounce the name of the brewery. There's lots of J's in it. It was uh, the other one was a saison. I think that is that's meant to be even better. Um, then a bottle of that. <laughs> you uh, you can read it. I can't pronounce it. Once again, it's from um, direct from the Cantillon Brewery in Brussels. Cantillon Brewery, an amazing place. If you you're in Brussels, uh, I encourage you to go there. It's incredible. Um, then a bottle of. Abstract number one from Brewdog. That was a present from a friend. I'm sure that's going to be incredible. Then a bottle of Brooklyn local number one. That 
is the beer that has been in my cupboard longer than any other. The guy in beer it's, um told me how to treat it, how to serve it, and um, I will respect his recommendations. So one day I'll get round to, round to drinking that. Uh, a bottle of um, Hebrew Jubilation 12. A bottle of that, which is another Belgian style thing. Um, kind of like a double IPA. It's still got a hop cone in there somewhere. The guy in the shop said it was incredible. Um, a bottle of the dollar still knacked their Christmas beer. Then a bottle of Dog Schwarz from Flying Dog. That's their smoked double lager which is very very interesting had it at the um, event they did with the head brew and Matt Brophy at the Cross Keys in Leeds a bottle of Double Bastard from Stone and then down here we've got my kind of selection of hoppy beers I'm a big fan of quite heavily hop beers as a lot of beer fans will be this time of year when it's sunny so I've got um, two bottles of um, Odell's IPA. It's kind of along the lines of the Goose Island, along the standards of the Goose Island IPA. It's great. A bit sweeter, not as bitter. A bottle of uh, Thornbridge Halcyon, an amazing beer. I'd say uh, if, if you've got to be careful with it, it's full of sediment, so careful when you serve it, careful when you pour it, but if you do a good job, you'll be rewarded with a fantastic ale. A uh, bottle of Marble Special, that's there. Um, marble, uh, their barley wine. Then down here we've got a few bottles of um, Sierra Nevada Bigfoot. Their barley wine. It's maybe really good when it's aged. So you know Sierra Nevada, great brewery, classic styles, brewed to perfection. Um, I've got a um, bottle of Balladine Open, which is an IPA from Italy. It's very good. I've had that before. Then couple of bottles down here of St. Lupulin which is the Odell Summer Seasonal which is a beautiful extra pale ale, really bright, really summery, probably the best summer ale I've ever tasted. Then finally up here, got, uh, got a few more bottles, Hazelnut Coffee Porter from Salt Air Brewery, Salt Air, I live in Salt Air, the brew is just down the road, it's amazing, they brew great, great beer. Another beer, um, Stanton Stouts from Crown in Sheffield, uh, brewed by um, the brewer Stuart Ross. He's a great brewer, it's a great pub. If you can find his beer, beers, buy them, they're amazing. And then finally, down here, we've got a full range of Otley beers from the Otley Brewery in Pogsprey in Wales. We've got the Columbo, the Otley One, the, the Darko, the Otley Eight, which is a big 8% beer. And, uh, and the Oli 6 Porter down there, and then finally the O Garden, which is the uh, was recently voted the beer of the year for Wales. So I'm sure that's going to be fantastic. So big thanks to them for sending them over. Um, I hope you've been interested in this video and interested in looking in the contents of my beer cupboard. Um, so I've been Rob from Hopzine.com. If you like this, we'll make more videos. Keep reading what we're doing on the website. Hope you're enjoying it. And thanks, thanks for taking the time. Thanks a lot. See you later.